Hey everyone, welcome back to Dan's How To Videos. Today is part two of the Windows 8 keyboard shortcut series. If you missed the first one, the link is in the description. Check it out. It's got the first 25 keyboard shortcuts. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so jumping right back into this, we're going to look at the Windows Help and Support section here. And what you need to do is press the Windows key and F1. It will bring up the support page, and if you're a new Windows user or a new Windows 8 user, this is going to be really useful for you. All you do is type in anything you're confused about or want an explanation for, and Windows will provide it for you. Next up, we have the launch or show the app pin to the taskbar, and this is going to be indicated by numbers. So you can see my taskbar at the bottom here has about six things or five pinned items, and then obviously the sixth recording over here, but they're all numbered, and this one is number one. Chrome is number two, my Camtasia is number three, and so on. So let's go ahead and push the Windows key and the number two, and it opens up Chrome. If I push the Windows key and number one, it's going to open up Explorer. Windows key and number five will open up my recording software. Pretty simple, and if you remember the numbers that everything is using, it should be a lot quicker for you. Next up we have another one that's going to tie into the launching and showing of the pinned applications, but this one is going to launch a new instant of the pinned app. So let's say I had Windows Explorer open here, and I wanted to open up another window, so another Windows Explorer on the side or something. What you would do is push the Windows key, you want to push Shift, and then you want to put the corresponding number uh, of the application you want to open, so in this case being 1 for Windows Explorer. And there you go, it'll open up a second one, and I can continue to do this, and it'll work with any one of the applications that you have pinned at the bottom of your taskbar. Now, if you want to quickly access the properties of a file or a folder, all you need to do is simply select it, and then press Alt and Enter, and it'll bring up the Properties tab. Now, this will work, as I said, with any file or folder. So if I go into this folder here and push Alt and Enter, again, it'll take me to the Properties section. If you're using a second screen with your computer or your laptop, a really smart Windows shortcut is the Windows key and the letter P, and this is going to open up your second screen display modes. This is good because it'll allow you to quickly jump between a duplicate screen, extended screen, or to look at your second screen only. To open up the Ease of Access Center, what you need to do is press the Windows key and the letter U. Now, a lot of people don't know about the Ease of Access Center, and what this is actually going to do is allow you to change up the visuals and various things like that to help you if you're visually impaired or if you want a narrator to read to you what's on the screen. A lot of people don't realize this is here, but it's a great feature, especially Dance. if you have a disability. Videos. Now, if you want to access Forget. the narration feature within your computer, all you need to do is push the Windows key and the Enter button. It'll go ahead and open it. Now, I know you can't hear what he's saying right now, but basically what he'll do is read whatever you select. So if I selected Welcome, if I selected my name, he'll go ahead and read it. Whatever I click on, he should be reading. Anyway, if you want to access the settings within the narration, it should pop up at the bottom and you can modify them to work exactly how you want to. The next few shortcut keys are going to be using the magnifier that Windows has. And we'll just jump onto a website here and to access the Windows magnifier, what you need to do is push the Windows key and the plus and it's going to give you this magnification bar here and it'll turn into a little magnifying glass. You can move around the screen as you would normally if you want to zoom in further. Again, the Windows key and the plus and you can pretty much go in as far as you like. Now to zoom out, it's the Windows key and the minus and again, just pushing it multiple times to get it back to its original screen. And then to exit it would be the Windows key and the escape button. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe up top. Also, stay tuned for part three. I'm going to go through the very basic uh, keyboard shortcuts that Windows has. These will work on Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, pretty much everything. Going through things like cutting, pasting, finding, stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, remember, subscribe, check it out. It'll be coming up later on this week. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.